Hi, this is Roger D. Rue. My website is freecomputerconsultant.com. Today what I wanted to talk about was temporary files. Recently I've had several uh, clients that have machines that just don't seem to act right. People actually think they're you know, hung up trying to say open a PDF file with Adobe Acrobat Reader. And what is really going on is the machine is just very, very busy. And the reason it can be busy is because there are temporary files that have not been cleaned up by poorly written programs or system crashes. And sometimes those temporary files can accumulate to very large numbers. On a recent machine, I saw the number of temporary files approaching 65,000 files in the temporary directory. And what was happening was when Adobe Acrobat was trying to open a PDF, it would go into that temporary uh, folder and it would uh, try to write a file, but the file handling was uh, just so slow with so much overhead because of all those files that it appeared like the machine was locked up. So what I'm going to show you is how to delete the temporary files and first how to view them to find out that might be a problem. Now if you don't know where your temporary files are stored, you can open a command prompt. I have one on my desktop, but if you don't have one on the desktop, you can simply go to start, run, and type in cmd, give you a command window, and you can type in set. That shows you all the system variables, two of which have to do with temporary files. One is temp and one is tmp, although that's kind of out of date, not really used too much anymore. You can see here that I have set that to be an alternate directory from what Windows normally makes it. Um, I don't really care for having multiple users on a machine at the same time, logged in at the same time, to where that might possibly be a conflict. So uh, it's real easy to get at here and clean it out, find out what's going on. I've got it set to just a, a directory I've created called temp on the C drive. And you can find it. That's where, that's where they are on this machine. But opening up Windows Explorer, here you can see the, uh, the temporary directory and just has uh, one uh, folder in it right now for this video capture. But where it's usually at, Windows doesn't even show you. If you look at the documents and settings, our user is administrator, and this is all you see by default. If you go up to Tools, Folder Options, click on View, and select Show Hidden Files and Folders, then you'll get all these other directories here, and one of which is Local Settings. And here is the default for Windows. And as you can see, that's kind of a, a long you know, directory name. It's, it's not real easy to just pop in and navigate to. And that's why I much prefer having just a shorter temp. What we're going to do here is see how we can clean out those uh, files that are stored there. There are a couple ways. One, I do like the free uh, program CC Cleaner, and it will do that work for you, or should say C Cleaner, excuse me. And it will clean out uh, you know, Windows uh, temporary files. You can see here system temporary files. It'll get rid of those for you. Uh, that is a, a free program, ccleaner.com. Some people think that they can get rid of it with uh, just the standard Windows disk cleanup. And they're correct, really. And here again, this is uh, kind of buried accessory system tools. But by default, it will not do that for you. You have to actually check the box. This takes just a moment. And you can see here, temporary files is not selected by default. Now, it, maybe it would have been, I, I haven't seen it selected by default, but maybe it's because I keep my uh, temporary files real clean. But uh, some other things that, uh, that aren't very big are checked, so I presume it's just not the default uh, really ever. But you'd have to check that to get it to do that. Uh, CCleaner will do a better job. And you can also uh, manually go in here. I go in here at the temporary directory and I can delete the files in here. There shouldn't ever be anything in here you really want, but you'd have to close out all active programs before you do that. And you still might come up with uh, a few files that say can't be deleted, they're in use. And that can be because you've got uh, maybe got a PDA that's syncing or, uh, or just a lot of different software programs that could be running and have a temporary file that is still open. So, Maybe CCleaner is, is the really the best approach to do that. 
But once you get rid of all those excessive temporary files, you might find that your system operates much more quickly and that some programs that appeared to be not working or that appeared to lock up would now work. And actually, uh, I don't really want to go into how to uh, change the location of the temporary files in this video. I want to kind of keep this as short as I can. That's maybe a topic for another one. Uh, I do hope you'll visit my website, freecomputerconsultant.com. Hope you've enjoyed uh, and found useful this video. Thanks for watching.